guys they're some of the best skaters that the world's produced and I'm pretty sure that uh, this team will pull something out of the Olympics. Hips out, come on, hips, 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 It'd be nice to just to sort of show them that, uh, that we're, we're on control, you know, control of the sport. Australia still chasing the Kiwis. There's their change. They move in a bit closer. In 1990, this mean machine barged its way into speed skating's big picture. At the World Championships, in front of an ecstatic home crowd, our relay team scored an unbelievable and totally unexpected victory. Away they go. They need the inside line. They've got this. They've got this. There's only one to go. It's a It was toughness and tenacity, more than technique, that got them over the line. But suddenly Australians were fascinated by this frenetic sport. Oh boy, no doubt about that. This is the upset of these World Championships. The Australians have shown guts and courage beyond their ability. People loved it because it was exciting and it was fast. Good passing yeah, and it's like uh, controlled mayhem out there. Yeah, most of the people, I think everyone got the same reaction when they came back. It was like, oh, you guys win that relay thing and what went on out there? You know, it was like, <laughs> what were you doing? What were you doing, yeah. With a bronze at the Worlds this year, they have confirmed their ability. And each month from all over the country, they get together for high performance sessions. The one-upmanship is never ending, especially when it comes to strength testing in the lab. Go! 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 Shaking. Oh, <laughs> the old, the old like, yeah. row on a, on a fitness test. <laughs> we have our moments. <laughs> you always just got to find the edge, you know, you yeah. just got to push somebody a little bit too far. <laughs> we, we rely on each other so much that we have to get together, so we, yeah, mm. we tolerate it. Yeah. <laughs> when it comes to the crunch and like it gets down to the actual race itself, we're, you know, very together. Yeah, and I think you can rely on yeah. any of these guys. We've been together now for a few years, the, t the team's been the same for a few years, so we know each other pretty well. This is a sport that now requires a lot more than brute strength and bulging thighs. After the starting stampede of skates, it becomes fluent, graceful. When you're skating well and you're powering around the corners, you, you feel confident, you feel like you can do anything. You just feel strong and smooth. It's just a nice feeling. Still, there is plenty of push and shove in relay events. Veteran Andrew Murtha reckons it'll be time to hang up his blades after Norway. Because it's a type of sport where you know you start to get injuries. <laughs> I've been getting a few of those lately. Starting to blow some smoke. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. so, um, so this is wear yeah. and tear on the body then. Yeah, like the the crashes into the barrier take their toll. Oh no 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 no! Meanwhile, coach Maggie Cameron fights another sort of battle, constantly pushing for more ice time, more facilities. It's a frustrating struggle in a country where winter sports are at the back of the queue for funding and sponsorship. The coach is proud of what her squad has achieved, but keeps the egos of her stars well in check. Okay. So can, can, we, can, we just, can we just get groups, please? Go away. When everybody's firing, uh, like any team, they're unbeatable. But if you have a chink in the armour, then that lets in room for error, and we're trying to iron out all the chinks in the armour. It's not easy, but 
working on it. Years I was trying to break that four minute mile, four minute mile, four minute mile, and then eventually Bannister broke it, and then about ten guys just went bang, 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 bang. Working on every aspect. At last week's camp, AIS sports psychologist Jeff Bond was talking mental toughness. That's, I mean, that's the idea of these things, to get together, to get some of that team camaraderie going, to get more ideas, to, to get some more sort of benchmarks and then go out there and push the limits even further. So it's important you don't set the cliff on yourself, you know? Because you just don't know how fast you're going to go. In this session, the bitter memory of the last Olympics comes to the surface. Jeff suggests a team captain could help in a similar crisis. The group is not comfortable with the idea. If all hell breaks loose, I kind of think you've got to have somebody who's going to drag it together again. So I'm thinking of a team captain for that purpose, not necessarily to wander around and say, hey, I'm team captain. One or two or three guys that escape the best sort of automatically assume the role of captain anyway without formally yeah. saying that yeah. he's captain. Yeah. If we didn't do that now, so we've got to make sure we do do that. Yeah. We, we do it normally, but we didn't do yeah, it normally. Yeah. Somebody wants to be designated as no, the No, I don't think as, we need to be designated. I think... Well, what's going to happen then, Rich? Because, I mean... Well, it's going to come together this time. Because we all be good at it. Well, then... Well, we... like yeah. Give you a certificate, you're... Captain, you uh, tell everyone what to do. I need a medium dry bone. Yeah. Try that on. Yeah. Right shoe, left shoe, which one? Our Winter start? Olympic yeah. team uh, will look the part. Team. Now they need to perform yeah. under yeah. the most extreme yeah. pressure. Uh, Only uh, medals will bring them the recognition they deserve. I can't ever see us getting a calendar <laughs> with it that way. <laughs> <laughs> We're in it to win. We just want to win. Everybody wants to be famous, don't they? Famous for 15 minutes at least. <laughs> <laughs> How long's this interview? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Johnny, keep it going, keep it going. Get your hips forward, get your hips forward. There's four other guys relying on you. You, you can't let them down. So it's be focused or don't be out there. Let's play, let's play, let's play, let's play. Well, how important is this first Winter Olympic medal? I mean, how much would you love to get that? It's pretty much all our dream, that's really. That's our dream, yeah. That's, that's the ultimate goal. That's what we're out the first and foremost. We've got world championship medals before, and to get the sport into the spotlight, we have to get an Olympic medal.